My name is Steve Schwab. In the next few minutes, we will be sharing how a new product known as BioTurbo is changing perishable storage for fruits and vegetables. Since our inception in 1987, MiaTech has been creating equipment and products dedicated to improving the perishable control process. We offer solutions from the time the produce is harvested, distributed, into the retail process, and until it leaves in the hands of your customer. While it is generally understood that the ethylene gas created from stored fruits and vegetables can be very harmful to perishables, it's not generally understood as to the best way to deal with this issue. The majority of products always produce ethylene. Depending upon you know, the, the combination of uh, fruits or vegetables you may have in a particular uh, room, uh, it's important to see what is going to be uh, you know, affecting what. So there's some uh, products which are more sensitive to ethylene than others and that is the reason you know you have you know ethylene scrubbers and you have different types of equipment. One of our breakthrough solutions, Miatex BioTurbo, was designed to remove ethylene and bacteria from the air to improve the quality and storage life of fresh perishables. So let's start by talking about the impact of removing ethylene and airborne bacteria for perishables. The main thing is the difference in the product. Um, when you're at a warehouse that's been doing this for years and you, you know the time frame that the product will survive and what it looks like, the throwaway, and then when you have the system set and you can see the difference. Uh, it's all about money. Finances are very key in this issue. Uh, how much do you value your product? Are you willing to throw away product? Uh, it's definitely very important because it's going to affect your, you know, your bottom line. One of the ways that uh, when we first introduced the product was uh, how, is, how do I know this thing's working? And uh, the difference in the smell alone is, is uh, significant. And uh, the customer always comes back and says, well, I don't smell those apples anymore. I don't smell uh, the onions anymore or whatever product that they're, that they're storing. There have been a number of ways to remove this ethylene gas, such as using potassium permanganate pellets, burning the air, using special lights in combination with a catalyst, or even ozonating the entire storage facility. While each of the solutions mentioned definitely work, at least to some extent, let's briefly review them one by one so we might better appreciate how the bioturbo stacks up against these other methods. The potassium permanganate pellets need to be changed regularly and depend on the customer remembering or knowing when to do this or they will stop removing the ethylene. The performance of these pellets are adversely affected by high humidity. Today, most modern facilities humidify typically between 85 to 95 percent to achieve best storage results. There are other products out there that remove ethylene. A lot of them are these little scrubbers, they're portable, you can wheel them in and out of the, out of the room. They do an okay job, but uh, sometimes you don't know when to change them. Uh, you, you, they only uh, remove ethylene, they don't do anything about bacteria. The customer has to remember to change. There's no uh, timing or there's no uh, alarm that goes off or anything that tells you it's time to change them. They have to ask you, actually go check them themselves. Most important might be the cost. While this might be the cheapest solution as far as an initial investment, over several years the cost of these pellets will exceed the cost of a bioturbo. It's also important to note that this method does nothing for airborne bacteria. It's a low upfront cost, but in the long term you end up paying more because it's something you have to continually replace. Another method is burning or incinerating the air. It has an expensive capital investment and consumes the most energy. Installation of this technology is also more complicated and costly. The next method is using an old NASA technology. It uses special lights with a catalyst. It was originally designed for use in space with the idea it would be for small areas. Then there's this NASA technology out there. You have high upfront costs and the ongoing maintenance and the replacement of, of lights and uh, other prop materials there makes it expensive to maintain also. Using this technology here on Earth has proven to be very expensive, both in the initial cost and the ongoing cost of ownership. With nearly 50 light bulbs that should be changed annually, this is expensive equipment to maintain. The last method involves ozonating an entire room. This can be affordable, but sometimes not. The challenge is getting the right amount of ozone distributed throughout the warehouse consistently. This has proven to be difficult. 
Too much ozone can damage the stored products and pose health risks to humans, making safety for workers a major concern. Too little ozone does not have any benefit. Then there's the companies that just ozonate the whole room and uh, there's safety concerns that uh, come into play there. By comparison, let's review what Miatech has done. We evaluated the various methods of removing ethylene and found a better way. Miatech developed a whole new system using the latest that science had to offer. During this research, it was determined that the removal of airborne bacteria in addition to ethylene would be an important part of our solution. The smart businessmen today are taking in consideration both the removal of ethylene as well as of airborne bacteria. The BioTurbo works in a four-stage process. In the first stage, we filter the air for general dust and debris. In the second stage, we use what we call a cell destruct filter. It basically pierces bacteria cells and can be especially helpful with spores. In the third stage, we create high concentrations of ozone housed in a chamber. Keep in mind that ozone will never leave the chamber. We just want to expose the air to high intensity ozone to deplete the ethylene and eliminate airborne bacteria. Contact time is a minimum of 20 seconds in this chamber. In the fourth and final stage, the ozonated air moves over a catalyst that disrupts the ozone, turning it back into regular oxygen, leaving ethylene and bacteria-free air to be sent back into the room. In this way, everything happens inside the bioturbo and no ozone leaves the system. I was involved with the design stages of the bioturbo and um, we uh, incorporated the safety switches to uh, shut down the ozone production if uh, say the fan was to malfunction or, or there was another problem with, uh, with the components of it. We have the ozone chamber, it's, it's all self-contained, self-sealed um, system. The ozone it stays inside of the bioturbo, making it human safe. Miatech's bioturbo was designed to be the most affordable system to own. This means maintenance requirements were kept simple. Very simple, very quick, and um, very small exposure to cost of maintenance. It's pretty straightforward. There's not many things that need to take place in a, on a PM. You have an air filter, you have plates that need to be changed out. The air filter needs to be changed out typically about once a year. It uh, depends on how the environment, for, say how dusty it is. And it it's, would be similar to changing out an air filter at home. It's uh, that, that simple. The plates will need to be done about once a year as well, but uh, that, that basically comes down to the maintenance for the BioTurbo. I think BioTurbo has the lowest cost of ownership of any product on the market today. For about $200 a year, uh, you can do the complete maintenance on the system on the BioTurbo, and that's changing the ozone plates and the filter. BioTurbo is probably the most affordable way to remove ethylene from the atmosphere. It's not expensive up front and it has the lowest cost to operate. When you stack up the different technology, really nothing compares to the bioturbo. In this competitive market, uh, price is a lot and uh, performance is also a lot. And so far, I've not lost a sale to a competitor with bioturbo uh, and I know they're looking. I know, I know they check it out. Now that you have a better understanding about BioTurbo, the next step is to have a Miatech representative provide you specific quotes for your application. We would really like the opportunity to play a part in your future success.